Now moving on to part C, just give yourself a little bit of room here, okay, we've got to show that x equals 0 0.653 um, is a root of f of x equals 0, correct to 3 dp. And so to do this, what I do is consider a sign change. By that I mean that if we could imagine the graph, okay, let's just look at this, we'll have the graph of f of x, okay. Now, if there is a root, and we reckon it's 0 0.653 to three decimal places, what I do is I consider a value that the, the lowest common, the lowest boundary uh, that 0.653 can be, which would be 0 0.6525. And then I'm going to consider a value that is just higher than 0.653, the upper bound, and that would be 6.535. So this value here I'm going to imagine is 0 0.6535. Okay? And what I'm going to do is work out what f of 0 0.6525 is going to come to. Okay. And then I can show you this point on this graph. Okay. So let's just work that out. 0 0.6525. Plug that into the equation for f of x. So that's going to be negative 0 0.6525 all cubed, plus 3 times 0 0.6525 all squared, and then minus 1. Now, if I work that out, if I work that out, I get a really small number. That number is minus 0 0.000000, no it's not, sorry, beg your pardon, minus 0 0.000537 and so on. Okay, but essentially this is a negative number. And so the graph would appear somewhere below the x-axis at this point. Okay, let's just imagine it's there. Okay, I move on and I now do f of the upper bound and the upper bound is going to be 0.6535, so 0 0.6535. Plug that through the equation for f of x, so I've got minus 0 0.6535 all cubed plus 3 times 0 0.6535 all squared and then minus 1. So if I work that one out, I get 2.101 times 10 to the minus 3. In fact, that is going to therefore be 0 0.0021 and so on. Okay? So this is a very small positive number. So that point, when plotted on the graph, is going to appear just above the x-axis. So that means that the graph between 0.6525 and 0.6535 is going to cross it somewhere in between these two points because there's been a change in sign. And there's no break in the curve. We say that the curve is continuous over this interval. So therefore, the root we can guarantee is going to be 0 0.653 to three decimal places. That root is this value in here. Okay, so to summarize this, I'm going to say that therefore, since there has been a change in sign, since there has been a change in sign, change in sign, okay, over the interval, interval, 
okay and intervals quite often are put in square brackets so the interval is 0.6525 comma and 0.6535 so I've taken the upper sorry the lower and upper bounds and also because the curve is continuous in this interval we know that there'll be a root. So I'm just going to finish that off so that since there's been a change in sign over the interval 0.6525 to 0.6535 and the curve is continuous is continuous okay then the root let's just scroll up a bit more then the root is 0.653 decimal places okay so hopefully you've understood that one and that brings us to the end of question 4